Hey everyone, this is Jordan from SleekLens.com. In this quick video, I'm going to show you how to do a double exposure the most simplest way possible in Photoshop. So we have this image here. It's a black and white image. It really helps to have a black and white image to do this very fast. And so what we're going to do is use our magic wand tool. Go over here to the select subject. We're going to click on that. And that's going to automatically select the subject in here. You can see it didn't get this part down here for some reason, but all we got to do is click on there and it will select all of the subject. Now we're going to click our layer mask, click right there, and that's going to create a transparent background. Uh, and that's as, you know, kind of what we need here. So now we're going to go down to her adjustment layers. We're going to click solid color and we're going to choose white as our solid color. I'm going to take this white layer and drag it below so now we're kind of back where we started. Next what we want to do is find our image that we want to superimpose and make the double exposure into the subject and I have this image here that I really really like. I'm going to drag this up very very large to probably right around there and we'll see how that works. Click enter there and now we need to make this go above the layer. So now we're looking at the image that's going to be uh, inside of our double exposure. Now the first thing we need to do before we change this to a double exposure is double click on our layer here, our white layer, double click there and you're going to get an eyedropper tool. You're going to select the brightest color in the image. So for this one it's obviously going to be pure white so I'm going to click on the pure white area here and click OK. And now I'm going to go to my uh, superimpose layer and click on here and change the blending mode to screen and you can see as soon as you do that it changes the image uh, and kind of uh, blends it into the subject so what we can do here to finesse it a little bit we can uh, create a clipping mask just to get rid of anything that might be outside of the subject so we're going to hold alter option on your keyboard and click between the two layers here and now we have our, um, uh, our layer mask there and our clipping mask. Uh, we're going to go down here our adjustment layers and get a curves layer. And here in our curves uh, dialog box, we're going to drag the blacks down a little bit and then maybe drag the whites up a little bit more. And then we can play with the mid-tones a little bit, blend it in however you want to. But that is pretty much our final, uh, final photo there. So easiest way to create a double exposure in Photoshop. Uh, very, very simple. If you have more questions and want to see more videos, uh, follow, subscribe, uh, and go visit SlickLens.com for more uh, Photoshop and Lightroom tutorials. Thank you guys very much. See you in the next video.